Hi there, this is Elsa with a new process video. Over at one of the Facebook groups that I belong to, the Nicole Jones 911 group, there was a challenge for June to make something of nothing. And I really don't pay much attention to these challenges. Uh, sometimes they inspire me and then I come up with something completely different. And sometimes I just feel inspired at the moment and then I forget all about it and it never becomes anything. But in this case I was looking through my... I have file folders with uh, Ziploc file folders with my die cuts and I was looking through them to see if there was some that I could merge together to get room for new stuff. <laughs> And uh, then I found uh, this one with small bits and pieces and embellishments that I had left from the cut apart sheets and the 6x6 paper pads from last summer's collections. So this is mainly basic, re and basic Ray and Bow Bunny leftovers and uh, especially one of those sheets with the kind of like the postage stamp um, theme. And I had lots of those uh, left. And I thought, why not make something of, of this nothingness? <laughs> I also had a lot of branding strips that I had saved because they had bits and pieces of color there. And uh, I decided to make a collage and uh, just glue these uh, together on a white piece of paper. So I placed them randomly, no, no thought other than filling space, onto a white piece of uh, background paper and then I glued them down with my uh, glue pen from SIG. It's a really nice glue, it uh, uh, sets really fast and it's also very easy to apply. I didn't want to use the score tape because uh, it takes so much more time, so the glue pen it was. Uh, when I looked at this, at, as it is now, it is uh, a bit chaotic and the colors don't match and it's really just a big mess. And I wanted to tone this down and bring every element together. So I brought out my uh, tub of uh, gesso and uh, started just uh, sponging the gesso onto the page. And some parts that I didn't like much got a little bit more gesso and other parts got just a light light coverage. But everything got covered uh, in one way or the, not or the other with gesso and uh, it, it brought the whole piece together much more. So what do you do with this kind of layout? Since they were summer um, leftovers and summer scraps I thought it was kind of obvious to use it for a summer layout. And I have had a photo in my stash since last summer, uh, one that I took of the newspaper when we went to visit my mother uh, last uh, year and it was in the middle of a heat wave. It was so hot and in the newspaper there was this like a map of Sweden and uh, the, the one they always have at the weather section of the newspaper and uh, it is color coded so when it's really uh, w wintry and cold it's dark blue in those areas and uh, then it goes from dark blue uh, via just uh, green and yellow and orange and when it's really hot it's red and when it's like super hot it's dark red <laughs> And I, I thought, I want to use that. So I want to make this uh, page so that it fits the heat wave um, symbols in the newspaper. And this all red map. And uh, what is what symbolizes uh, exotic and tropical heat to me? And I, I thought about that for a while and then I came up with hibiscus flowers because that's really tropical to me. I, 
I have never seen hibiscus in the wild, but the, the other day when we went to a birthday party for Hapi's uh, grandmother, we bought her uh, a plant, uh, a potted uh, hibiscus, and it, it was just lovely. I love the colors, they're almost surreal. And I thought, ah, I want to use hibiscuses. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. My voice is crackling. Uh, I found, uh, or I, I knew that I had a font uh, on my computer that had uh, only f uh, pictures of uh, hibiscus flowers. So I used that uh, font to make stencils. So I, I wrote the whole alphabet in my word program and uh, just uh, figure out what letters that I wanted to use uh, since every letter of the alphabet is a different hibiscus flower in this font. And then I uh, took the Silhouette Studio software and I typed with a text tool uh, th those letters that I, I wanted to use and I made those uh, flowers into the, the size that I wanted and I cut them out of uh, overhead plastic. My overhead plastic package was running out but I managed to find overhead plastic at uh, uh, like these home electronics shops and uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy about it. It is a bit th thinner than the previous package that I had but I think it will do. I cut out uh, five or six of these uh, flowers and uh, it worked perfectly. The flowers were almost like they were meant to be cut out. And uh, then I made uh, flowers on the this background page with uh, modeling paste. And I used uh, seven flowers, just I, I wanted an uneven number. And then I started painting them with gelatos. I'm using a water brush and I'm just coloring directly from the, the gelato stick. I'm adding water with a water pen, uh, with a water brush, and uh, I'm solving, dissolving some of the paint and just painting it onto the flowers. And I'm using the mango and the hot pink one, I don't remember what it's called, uh, some yellow and later also some uh, purple. And here's the photo. It's just a photo of the newspaper print and uh, you can see the whole country is in this heat wave. It was really awesome <laughs> and and it was so many years than, than since I had experienced a real heat wave before and it felt so surreal and uh, we, we loved it even though it, it totally almost killed us because you know you you just want the heat but you don't want it anyway <laughs> or when it when it uh, when it hits you it's just too much and uh, it, it was hard to to drink enough water to stay um, sane <laughs> I wanted to go with the newspaper feel so I create my own newspaper print for a layering piece there by adding newspaper print um, washi tape it's an old one of my first from Ranger the one that I paid just too much <laughs> for but I love it and it, it's still a lot on the roll so I use it on an ordinary piece of white cardstock to make a newspaper kind of background piece then I'm cutting some of that new acetate uh, that I bought with my scrubby um, purchase to give it some extra kind of tropical feel with that lovely um, turquoise uh, color going on. And then I start uh, putting my photo uh, block together. I don't want to cover up uh, too much of this background because I, I really love how it turned out and it still is, isn't finished because I haven't added the purple and that totally makes the whole page so just wait for it. <laughs> uh, I'm making some shadows around the leaves to make them stand out and I'm using a red uh, gelato for that. Uh, perhaps it, it was I got the idea because it was red in the photo and I thought that I needed to bring red into the background a bit because I had gone more towards the pink uh, orange but the, the photo was so red so I'm making shadows with the red gelato. 
And then I looked up uh, photos, real photos on the internet of uh, hibiscus flowers and uh, I realized that they were darker uh, in the middle and uh, then I, I had to, to make my flowers darker as well. And I d didn't want to make them black so I found a really dark uh, purple. I think it's called boysenberry or something like that. And uh, that that really made the finishing uh, awesomeness to this background. Uh, hibiscus flowers will uh, most certainly uh, be featuring on more of my layouts. Uh, to make the whole page go together a bit more, I'm also adding the same colors uh, to the sides of the, like the frame of the of the page. And uh, I, when I made the, the hibiscus modeling paste uh, uh, additions, I also made uh, small, small dots with uh, modeling paste through another of my homemade stencils, so that uh, those are the ones that you can see at the top of this uh, page now. They are showing through when I have rubbed the paint on top of it. Mm -hmm. I have been reaching over 600 subscribers on my YouTube channels and I have just lots of views and I'm so thankful. Uh, I would never have guessed how well this would have turned out uh, <laughs> before I started uh, and, and I never thought that I would reach over 100 subscribers, so over 600, it's just amazing. And I wanted to give something back to, to the community by m giving a, a little something back. And uh, I am making a, like a lottery for a gift card at, uh, I, I think I will choose a sherry on top or perhaps paper issues, I haven't really decided, but it will be a gift card of $25 uh, to the winner. And to participate in this competition, you just need to make a comment to this video, this 150th uh, video of mine. And uh, the code for entering is that you will have to name a color just a color. Uh, it could be like lemon or it could be like uh, blue or just uh, mention a color and uh, as a celebration to this uh, giveaway I will make a layout, a monocolor uh, layout in the color of the winner that the winner had chosen. So just leave a comment with a color and you're in the competition. I will draw a winner I don't know, end of July? Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Four weeks and uh, a color. That's uh, the deal. <laughs> the title for this page will be Tropic 2014. Uh, I really wanted to, to use this Tropic and my first thought was to make it in Swedish, but I didn't have any S in any of the fonts that I wanted to use, so it, it had to go in English. <laughs> I, I often uh, get those problems. Since the title was so black against this colorful background, I needed to bring back black into the page in a couple of more places. So I'm using my perler uh, bead uh, dots to just put black in a couple of different places. And you see there, one of the dots is is going mm -mm, going places, and I have glued that back on track again. So no need to worry. Thanks so much for watching, remember the giveaway, and uh, take care. This is Osa, bye!